3D Dolphin Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to be doing a 3D dolphin design with a no water marble gel background that makes it kind of look like he's jumping out of the water and there's splashes all around. I, as I mentioned, think this is really cute so I hope you like it. And also really quickly I want to announce the giveaway winners for my Make Buddy giveaway that I did two weeks ago. Winner number one is Deborah Rini. Congratulations! And um, if you want to let me know whether you would prefer the tabletop or the dashboard mount, I can send that to you and I'll try to send you a message if I can or just contact me on either Facebook or Instagram. And the second winner is uh, Mrs. Marc Plier. And so congratulations to the two of you again and just we'll have to get in contact so I can get those to you. And don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. For the background, I'm going to start by creating an overlay on my nail tip with a pale blue acrylic. So I'm just going to add a bead of that pale blue color and then um, apply it down. And I, when I do these designs, I always make my nails very, very thin. If you were doing this to actually wear, I would make this layer a little thicker just so that it has some strength. If you're doing it just for show as I am, you can make it whatever thickness your heart desires. It really doesn't matter. If you are actually wearing it though, this would be extremely delicate and easily breakable. But I am going to add a layer of clear acrylic over the top of this. This is going to give it some strength. And I'm also going to build my apex here. But once again, and it does depend on the acrylic system. Some are stronger and can be worn thinner. Some need a little extra strength just to keep them from from busting, which you don't really ever want to bust an acrylic nail. So I'm gonna add that layer of clear. This is gonna help protect your blue as well and just make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to be filing it with 180 grit file to smooth out any surface imperfections, which if you are anything like me, there always are just a couple. Um, but then you're gonna also wanna buff it with a 240 grit padded buffer to smooth out any scratches that that other file may have left behind. After that, I'm going to be applying a thin layer of gel top coat I'm just going to brush that on and then while it is still wet I'm going to be applying a few different drops of white and then some drops of blue. And then with a brush that's been dipped in some isopropyl alcohol I'm going to drag it through those white and blue drips just to create sort of like a splashing appearance. And cure it and then apply another layer of top coat and cure once again. To begin my dolphin I'm going to start with a gray acrylic and I'm going to be adding his head first or his head area so I'm going to add basically a a circle but then I'm gonna pull that circle down and I'm going to pull it down and pull it pull it pull it just keep on so you brush it from side to side and it'll continue to lengthen and down into a nice point for the base of the tail and then I'm gonna add another bead and then sort of split it in half and pull it into two little points like that for his tail and I'm just gonna touch up the shape of his spine a little bit make sure it has a nice curve to it and add another bead over the top of it just to make sure that it has a nice smooth surface. You don't want your 3D your 3D art to look lumpy. That's never really the goal. Add just a little bit more. Make sure, like I said, it has a nice smooth rounded appearance. And now I'm going to be adding his pectoral fin. So I'm gonna start with the one that's closest to the camera. And so then I'm just gonna place that down and then I'm just gonna make sure that it has nice sharp edges, just like that with the tip of my brush sort of outlining it a little bit. And then I'm going to be adding the one that's on the other side of our dolphin. So it's just going to be a little bit sticking out from behind him. Just like that. And now I'm going to be adding his snout. And so I'm going to place a bead down and then push it in from side to side to make sure that it doesn't, I don't know, spread out all over the place. It's pretty much what we're trying to avoid. And just separate his upper and lower jaw just a little bit with a tiny line. Once again, using the tip of your brush. And now I'm going to be adding his dorsal fin. And so I'm just going to place the bead down, pull it into that classic dorsal fin shape. And now I'm going to be adding just a little bit more acrylic over the pectoral fin that's closest to us just to make sure that it's definitely 3D and sticks out and shows up really, really well. Just like so. And then I'm going to add a little bit more acrylic to really define between his tummy and that other fin that is showing up behind him just so that there's those nice three levels that you can easily see that really makes the 3D stand out. And I'm going to be highlighting his tummy with a lighter shade of gray. This is a really pale gray, an almost white color. So I'm just going to go over that, go around the pectoral fins, and then down on the jaw. And then add a subtle highlight. It's not actually very subtle. It could have been subtler on his back. And now with black, I'm just going to be doing a couple little outlines just to make sure he stands out really well. And you can see him easily on the nail. So I'm going to be outlining his tummy area, his fins, and then his jaw, as well as the upper fin and his tail. And I'm also going to give him his eye. Apply a layer of matte top coat over your dolphin and you are all set.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!